Hello, I'm Brianna and this vlog is my final project for my Intro to Cinema class. So, cinematography is basically all of the technical aspects of the actual filming of something, and it's an art unique to cinema. Heck, it's in the name. All of the things involved in actually filming a shot, color, lighting, height, angle, point of view, camera movement, length of shot, and many other things, must be considered in order to record the series of images that will best tell the story the way the director wants it to be told. Cinematography can make or break a movie, and if one is creative and skilled enough, they can do some amazing things, even without computer-generated special effects, just with clever use of the camera. In this video, I'll be talking about cinematography in Alfred Hitchcock's classic psychological thriller Vertigo, and specifically about a cinematographic technique that was created for this movie and used to such great effect that it actually became the technique's namesake. Also, I realize this is an old movie, it came out in 1958, but I still feel compelled to tell you that there will be spoilers ahead, so there you go. You've been warned. So in the movie, a detective named Scotty retires after his crippling phobia of heights leads to another officer dying during a rooftop chase. However, an old friend tracks him down and says he wants to hire him to follow his wife, Madeline, who's been acting strangely and seems to be obsessed with a woman the husband claims is her great-grandmother. A woman who, it turns out, is infamous for killing herself after being left by her lover at the age of 26, the same age as Madeline. After some initial resistance, Scotty takes the case and begins following Madeline, noting her strange behavior, saving her from a suicide attempt, and eventually beginning an affair with her. However, it's clear that Madeline is not alright, and Scotty tries desperately to help, but Madeline eventually kills herself by throwing herself off of a tower. Scotty unable to stop her because of his fear of heights. The movie doesn't end there, but I will leave the rest for you to enjoy. The ending's quite a twist. Now, as one might expect from the movie's title and basic premise, it deals a lot with heights and the sensation of vertigo. Vertigo is defined as a feeling of intense dizziness, as though you or the area around you is spinning uncontrollably. In the film, Scotty experiences intense vertigo when confronted with heights due to his phobia. There are multiple times in the movie when Scotty finds himself in a high up place, and we are treated to a first person view of what he's seeing. However, simply seeing a shot of a street or floor far below wouldn't necessarily be enough to communicate the fear and disorientation that Scotty is experiencing in these moments. Hitchcock needed a way to quickly and clearly communicate how Scotty was feeling in a way that the audience could empathize with, preferably on an almost subconscious level. So, he and his team came up with a clever idea. While recording a shot, they zoomed the image in while dollying the camera out, moving it further away from what they were filming. This combination created an incredible effect, where the background and foreground appear to be moving asynchronously with each other. Some parts of the frame appear to be getting smaller while others are getting larger, and the overall effect is very disorienting and can even invoke a feeling of slight motion sickness, which is exactly the way you would want someone to feel if you were trying to get them to understand the feeling of vertigo, which is why it was used so many times in the movie in scenes where Scotty was somewhere high up and looking down. To give you a better idea of how this actually looks, here's a clip from the movie in which it was actually used. As you saw, we get a first-person view of the ground that's normal for a split second before it begins to warp sickeningly, before Scotty looks away and the third-person view we have for most of the movie is restored. This technique proved so revolutionary, so powerful, so iconic, that it's now known as the vertigo effect and it's been used to create feelings of unease and disorientation in many classic movies, including Martin Scorsese's Goodfellas and Steven Spielberg's Jaws. Its creation was without a doubt a major moment in cinema history, and its use in Vertigo a display of truly masterful cinematography.